back to another reaction, another episode of Ripley. Did you guys think I was going to be done with this show? Absolutely not. We have four more episodes to go and then we'll be wrapping up this show. Obviously, this I think it's a limited series. We're not going to get any more of this show. I know it takes me a while to get through all of the shows that's here on this platform. Sorry in advance, but that's just how things happen here on the Andres Array channel. But thank you so much for being here, supporting it, liking it, sharing it, commenting it. You guys are amazing. Love you guys all the way down. Can you believe, quick side note, that um, the last time I checked, we are at 62 thousand subscribers we are blossoming we are growing we are fastly approaching to 70,000 after that honey honey I shrunk the kids after I got past 50,000 my main goal objective is looking in the very very near future to 100k I don't know what I'm gonna do I probably will pass out right here all over the floor and you guys won't see a reaction in days so take your time subscribing um <laughs> Thanks. But let's get into this episode of this show. You want to see in a full reaction? I know you do. Absolutely. There is, by the way, really quickly, gather around the table. There is two platforms I'm on um, that is producing content. So when you sign up to YouTube memberships or Patreon or both, if you want to really be part of the family, honey, you will be able to see content movies, TV show reactions on two platforms. So why not click the links down in the comment section and join the extended family today. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Ripley, a season one, episode four, and find out exactly what this show has got to give. He killed that man, whatever that man's name was. Oh, there's the fish. I was looking for the fish the last episode. Wearing this ring. He's not nervous anymore. In here? Where's Dickie? Rome. I'm doing what Dickie asked me to do. I'm taking him some things he wants in Rome. He's not coming back all winter. Oh no, I'm sure he'll be back to visit. We're still going to Cortina though. No, actually he's not. Over there, you should go. He made a point of saying that. That I should go. I'm just telling you what he said, Marge. Oh, and he said that you should take the refrigerator. Oh, we bought your perfume. He said that's your favorite. Are you staying with him in Rome? For a while, I guess. Help him get settled. Get a message at American Express there once he knows where he's staying. And that's where you should write him. I want to go to Paris. You or you and him? Just me. Did he say whether he was planning on coming back here if he's not going to Cortina? Uh, he didn't say. He said some things about you. About me. To you. He said he's feeling like he wants to be alone for a while. Be with you. You'll be there. Apparently. <laughs> Go for a drink and talk about this some more. I could make you a drink. With ice. <laughs> Call the police, girl. Io vi ho detto di prendere il crocifisso di Foggi. C'è qualcosa che non va con questo crocifisso. Allora, tu devi essere più preciso con noi. Eh, me ne so accorto. Però questa non è male. Ah. 
Hello, put that in lagas. Why are you a sheep? Know anyone who might want to buy a boat? Which type of boat? That's your boat? That's my friend's. He's traveling. I can do that. 20%. No, that's not going to work. Why is he paying you anything when I'd be the one selling it? Because you won't be the one selling it without my say so. This is what I do for a living. I arrange the sale of things. So I set the fees. 20%. Split between the two of us, 10 each. That's as high as I'll go. Sorry, 20 for myself. Toma! Toma! I like you, people. Have a seat. We'll work something out. Staying with us again? No, oh, actually, I, I'd like to speak with a manager, please. A friend of mine has some things he thinks the hotel might be interested in purchasing. Things? Friend is in Rome. He is. And you handle his affairs? This too is for sale? Whatever it is? <laughs> no, it's not for sale. El pranzo es pronto. Grazie. Uh, Ramonda, mm -hmm. nel frattempo, mi ha chiesto di darti questi. E non è più sicuro di tornare qui, quindi non ha più bisogno di te. Grazie, signora. Oh my God, where's March? Come on, that's you. Yes, but... Sei biglietti per Roma, prima classe. Sei? Sì. What is he up to? Oh my god, he's crazy. Verra. C'è una stanza per favore, deluxe. Subito. Una firma qui. Per favore. Prego. Bella penna. Grazie. Grazie, signor. La camera era 312. E se hai bisogno di qualcosa, chiami pure la reception. Thank you. <laughs> Look it up. Ho un messaggio. Prego. Brutte notizie? She seems really to know that you are here and say that it's urgent you get in touch with her. Did Monsieur would say anything about coming to Rome? No, sir. I'm gonna have to check out immediately. I understand completely. You must attend to your mother to prepare your bill. I just checked in. Yes? Your key. Una singola, per favore, uh, standard. Passaporto. A pieno di sopra. Questo orologio è stato nell'acqua. È caduto nel lavandino. In acqua del mare. Come vedi, ci sono le mie iniziali.
sono su Grinder. Grazie. Buongiorno. Cosa posso fare per lei? Perfetto. Ah, vorrei controllare il saldo di un conto a nome Richard Greenleaf. Perfetto, grazie. La firma, leggibile. Dearest Marge, I apologize for not writing sooner. Hopefully you spoke to Tom and he told you I'm in Rome, so you haven't worried about me. You were on the wrong track about him, all those terrible things you were saying about him. He has nothing to do with us in any case. I hope you realize that. Please don't think I'm running away from anything or from you. Sorry about Christmas and Cortina, but I don't think we should see each other that soon. Love, Dickie. Love, Dickie. We've seen a lot of churches in this episode and crucifix. La luce. Sì. P.S. I hope you like the perfume. He said, Oh, Marge is going to be so happy. Well, this is a bit of a surprise. Rome asked Tom and he was perfectly vague about it. Everything about Tom is perfectly vague. You say he's not a bad guy, but I don't like him. Is he queer? I don't know. I don't think he's normal enough to have any kind of sex life. You were concerned about your father's opinion of Tom, but now seem to be ignoring it. As for us, as you put it, i can bear the few weeks without you here. The little olive tree we planted outside my window. The books I borrowed from you. It's lovely. Though I'm not at all sure I believe Tom found it. Please let me know what your plans are. I don't even know if you're still in Rome. I hope you like the scarf, darling. I spent many nights making it for you. Say, lonely nights. Is there a problem with your room, sir? No, 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 the room is fine. It's about a woman hiding out here from my fiance. Ex fiance. Ex fiance. She's gonna try and find me, even if that means checking every hotel in Rome. Maybe you should go to Firenze or Venezia even farther. Mm, I like it here. A young lady comes by and asks if I'm here. Do you think you could say that I'm not? I'm terribly sorry, miss. There is no Mr. Greenleaf here. More the church stuff. Keeper has found the buyer for the boat at the price you said. Why is that an issue? Just backs the commission too. Well, you're right, there is no issue. You can split yours with him. Frankly, I doubt you spoke to him. I did spoke to him. Oh yeah, what's his name? I can tell him no if you want. We can let this buyer go. You found a way to get your 20%. I almost admire that. Did you say send it to you? Yes, a Banca della Repubblica check. Okay, now who's telling a story? Should we just forget the whole thing, Carlo? Should I get someone else to sell it? And it's Ripley, R-I-P, not R-E-E. Grazie. Cosa vuole aprire il conto, signor Ripley? che lui realizzò il suo David con la testa di Golia, questa mozzata di Golia uh. e ha reso questo legame ancora più forte, è sempre il viso di, di Caravaggio, è lui da giovane e da vecchio. I'm in Rome looking for an apartment for the winter. Sorry to miss another Christmas with you in New York, but I'm trying to work some things through before I come home to say you're wrong about him. <laughs> and has in fact helped me. An orphan. Now he speaks about this, he's reminded me of the importance of family. Out of all my friends, you picked the right one to send. Love and miss you both. Oh, look Richard. there he is. That was dark. Well, well. 
there's that episode. Um, so that was dark. His name was Richard? Oh, okay. So we finally see him floating in the bottom of the deep blue sea, going back and forth, back and forth, as Ripley completely dis dis dissolves his whole entire life, breaks things apart, sells things as his, packs things up, gets more of his clothes, changes his passport, and Marge is just like, I can't believe that you, Marge, like, why didn't, I don't understand why she's not picking up on these very, extraordinary clues that there's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. You really thought that your man, fiance, who you had a conversation with that was gonna take Thomas to wherever the holy hell they went, Rome, and that he was going to let him know about like moving on, like time for him to go. I, I believe, I assumed they had the conversation and that's why he said what he said to her and she was okay with him leaving by himself. And then you think that he just came back here, starts packing up all this stuff that your fiance didn't come back here to actually talk to in person. You guys made plans about the future and that he's gonna send this man who he actually went away with to tell the man to go away, that he confided in you that his father obviously felt some type of way. You believed that he would send this man to do all of his work, all of his bidding, and you are just gonna sit there and let him do that? Maybe because my mind is working in today's uh, realm other than where this was back in, it doesn't let me know what year this was, it, and I'm sure it told us during each episode, or at least the beginning of the show, maybe, maybe not. Um, but it's just kind of weird that she's not picking up on the oddness of this whole situation. So it seems also as Ripley, last time I'm gonna mention this because it's quite obvious that Ripley is gay, right? And this infatuation with, um, what was his name? The one who's dead? Whatever that man's name is. Oh, 1960s. It just says it. It says living 1960s. Okay, so Ripley obviously had a fascination. Thomas had a fascination with the guy he killed. So there's that, which led to guy killed, murder. Duh. So I'm just interested in seeing where they're going to go in the next four episodes. Is when is Marge going to catch on? Because we're already in in uh, winter, we're already at Christmas time, and he's obviously not going to appear again. Maybe in her dreams, and only in her dreams. So, and it's very weird that he's not like selling all his shit and going back to America. Like you're still sticking around this country where you actually murdered somebody, and eventually they're gonna catch on, sir. And she found him so quickly. So I just. It's just very strange to me that she's not thinking that this is all a little weird. Um, and he hasn't called you, girl. Not one phone call at all. Shell, please. Um, so I'm very interested to see what's going to happen in the next four episodes. I'm here for the long run. I am here to see the twist, the turns, the murder, the mayhem. I think by the ending of this, I feel like either he's going to die or she's going to die. And then we're going to leave on a very dark note like we did on the other movie. So I'm here for it, y'all. Please, once again, before you get up and leave this reaction, hit the like button, share, don't forget to comment down below. I'll see you all next time with more reactions. Boop.